Well, we'll get used to it. We're gonna, we, we're kind of used to it. You're never gonna stop on the center line. Now, stop on the center line, but block it hard. You're still not. You had to come back. You can't stop on the center line if it's moving. No. Because your brain goes very goes. So that's the whole point. I don't care how you try to stop on the center line. When you do that, I'll get that low down on the other side of the center line, and I'll take you out. But so when I do it, I don't fight. I don't fight it. A lot of times, I get guys who are go loaded up, and they're going. And they're not letting you move the arm. I'm being real stiff. But in reality, that wouldn't happen. He'd go to load it and I'd be, uh oh, something's bad. Because <laughs> you know I, mean? I can't stop the center of it. So, so I'm very cooperative in the drill. I let him move it over, he pops it, and then I let him load it, he moves it over. Yes, absolutely. Let it go. That's why my arm, when he blocks this, that arm's gone almost before he gets there, and that loads on. So, so it is okay to anticipate. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But if he doesn't, when he gets it, it still there's nothing there. Look, I let it go, and then and it's already loaded into it. It's that quick. That's what's got to be almost immediate. Then after that, take your time on the rest, because I get people that do this. They go and they rush to the press trap. But really, the part that you relish is this. Because from here, I got him. No matter what he does, he can't punch, can't kick, mm -hmm. he can't collide like collapsing elbow, can't do that. I'm gonna punch him right through the center. Yeah. Try to punch with that hand, not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Once I load this up and it's through his center, lift your leg, not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Because I can feel the load change because I loaded it through his center leg, right? So the only important and fast part is this: just get that load on there. Then after that, you could take all day to press trap it out of the way. Never rush to that part. So you know that, right? Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, just to just to explain again why the drill changes from yellow to to orange. It's this. Uh, it's the first two weeks. So it's go smooth. Your barriers, nice and smooth and slow. Now you get that. So you feel it going, you load it up, you feel it, it's not moving, pop it out of the way. How come that didn't work too well? Let's do it again. The first two, the first two, okay. Straight this, right? Straight this. Good. Pop it out of the way. No, it's not working. You got, you got like 10. I loaned you up. No, no, that's nothing to do with it. Because you can't pop that bridge down. It's where if you're pointing straight at it, what are you going to do with a bridge? You're not going to collapse it. So, I can't collapse a bridge. Yeah, yeah. So here's the thing. If, if you're out here, and you know, bridge, yes, this is bridge, but this is a bridge, this is bridge, this can do whatever it wants, I still consider that arm a bridge. It's when this move, let go, it's when this move is around here that you break bridge, right? Because quad joy allows me to stay in bridge and find ways of striking, but I'm still in bridge, that's what I consider. This elbow is what makes a bridge work. This is so bridge. This is bridge. I don't care how I hit. This is bridge. As long as my elbow's on there. So, like I said, in this position, I can't collapse that. I don't care who, who or how big I am. I can't. But if I could just move it a little bit to there, I could pop it right out of the way. Why? Because this, you got core muscles. If I can move you to here, Core muscles, no, it doesn't work in that at that angle. You see what I'm saying? So the point is, when he blocks me, I gotta move it a little bit over so that this becomes easy. I can't take it straight on as a bridge. But in yellow, though, we let him do it because I just need to recognize this and pop it out of the way. But now, now, it could be a good thing too. He blocks. And I move it, what if I moved it all the way to power line where I can really get a power line on it? Well, have you ever seen a collapsing elbow? A collapsing elbow thing? Well, if I move this all the way to power line, I'm making a big hole open. You've got one too, but if you fire first, I'm in trouble. So what I'm doing is when I'm moving this, I take it here um, from my neckline, and I move it about till these knuckles are on my center line. But you can feel it through you as arrow. And then in that way, you try to collapse the elbow around, and now it's going through you. So all I want to do is move it enough that this is easy. See what I'm saying? So don't try to move it too far, because the more hole you make, your voice wants to.
slip something through that hole. So all I'm doing is opening the door a little bit so I can just slip through. So I'm doing it. So you got that, Jim? Yes. So yeah, so again, on the young bell variant, smooth and slow, smooth and slow, then you'll recognize, you'll recognize right there that it's not going anywhere. And, and, and because it's a young bell, I don't need you to understand the screen and all that sort of angles. All I wanted to do is, I'll, I'll let it pop it out of the way because I'm a young bell. But I know I want to, you know, in orange belt, we recognize that we have to deal with the reality of his body mechanics. And if he was 300 pound bread, no, no way you're going to move his bridge. You're going to have to really move to the side. So, work a little bit of one variant, then go to the other. You can be, you want to be primary first. When I'm doing this drill, remember, um, Remember when we did, we just always do the light. Yeah, yeah, take it back to you. Take it back to you. Take it back to you. Yeah. Now we'll do the low thing. Self off center. Right as low as you can through you, right? And then every once in a while, I'll check that out. Well, the same thing in the drills. I'm always checking that. Not always, but I will, I will spontaneously check it at different times. So when we're doing the drills, I'm cutting through. So when we're doing the drill, uh, go ahead. Go. I'm going to tell you when. Guy, he thinks I'm going to tell him when. When we're doing the drill, at some point, I check him by collapsing my arm. When do I collapse it? The instant the lower hand touches. The instant, though. I don't wait until later because if he's already loaded up and he's like in the wing and he's on his way to do this, sometimes he's not thinking about the load as much. Now he should be. But I want to know that the instant he's starting to load, he meant to get that load up, force and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that he meant to get that load up. Go ahead, Nathan. Five. Yeah. Relax. You're so rigid. God. Go. So Thank you're God. applying that load in the wrist before you yeah. actually track. Exactly. Mm. Yep. Apply the load. Yep. And then, and what's the point? When he applies the load, he's spring loaded like, like you're pulling the mouse trap back. Then when he pops this out of the way, it should just spling out there by itself. That's the whole point. So that you're always looking as soon as you touch somebody. The load in the way that if he pow, if he lets go, you go pop him good. So exactly. So there you go. So again, so when do I check right on the right on the lower hand? You juice that yeah. guy. That was so juicy. It was leaking all over the floor. It's a giant orange. You know what that means to me, right? He juiced that. He was like, he was, it was so gone. And I was gone. He was like, what? <laughs> and he punched me in the chest. <laughs> it's got to go the instant that you touch. All right, load it up. Keep on. Load it up. Good. Load it up. Load it up. Not bad. That was better. Still a little hesitant now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So that's, you see how I'm checking it? Not every time. But when do I check? The instant that lower hand touches, I check. Don't check every time because you don't want him to know. If you check it every time, then he's going to start pushing it's every time. Push, 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 Put that load on right away. One of three things you're running for, or let me, let me run for this. I'm running the hand. Closing by turning it to strike, right? I can run the hand to draw, or I can run the hand um, to press, any way I want to go. Any of those things you try to do, or I try to do, if you go to bong south, you're going to thwart them. No matter what I try to do. I try to try to boogie down, the bong south still puts you in the best position, no matter what I try to do. Yeah. There. Yeah, relax. Said it. That's the wrong side. Yeah. You go and press it. Yeah. You go to ball. You're chasing my hand. What are you gonna do when, when if somebody if somebody runs and goes like oh, wow. that? Yeah. Press, yeah. Press, you're gonna, you're gonna, just, yeah. Yeah. But if you drive it to my eyes, so, so motion. So you're actually he would collapse as you press. You know, you know, yeah. Collapse. Right. Right. So if I'm running here, you gotta go to ball 